Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Gemini. This is going to be your beginning to middle of December spread. Down below, I will have the timestamp if you want to skip past my talking. Links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and SoundCloud will be down below, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least two, three days to get them done after transactions, so I appreciate you for your patience. Also, go check out my spiritual store on Etsy. Link is going to be down below. And make sure to check out my new Instagram. I'm pulling daily tarot cards, sharing channeled messages, spells, talking about energy shifts, and sharing updates on my YouTube channel and Etsy store. So if you guys are interested in all that, you can go follow me at Cosmic Tides underscore, and that information will also be down below. And before we begin, just keep in mind that these energies are interchangeable, so feel free to switch around the characters if you need to as we go along. And I'm using my new deck on you guys. This is the Modern Witch Tarot deck by Lisa Sterl, and I'm partnering it with the Fairy Tarot deck by Radley Valentine. Definitely mispronouncing both of their names, so sorry about that. Um, so yeah, let's get started. This is interesting. So I see somebody could be trying to make you a promise, like an empty promise, okay? Because it looks good. Like the offer looks good here, but it has no substance, okay? There's nothing to back it up, okay? And it's like... Yeah, so someone's trying to offer you something after things, uh, yeah, someone's trying to offer you a cup after some cups got knocked down here. I see you're disappointed with how things went with this person, so I see they're trying to kind of, like, make it up to you here, trying to give you, like, this, you know, this empty promise here, okay? I just see, like, there's no substance here. It looks good on the outside, but it has no substance. It's false, right? I'm seeing too, it's like, you guys know that too. It's like, you know you can take this person's cup and reconcile. The two of cups is right behind you. But I'm just seeing it's like, for a lot of you guys, like I said, you're really disappointed about this whole situation. You found out um, somebody put you in a third party situation. Okay, so you found out this person was in a whole relationship with somebody else. And that was also in the Scorpio reading and also in the Aquarius reading. So definitely go check that out. Um... In the Scorpio reading, I was seeing that scenario a few different ways, too. So for some of you, like, you were dating somebody, you were in a whole relationship with somebody, and then, you know, you found out that there was somebody else involved, that they put you in a third-party situation. Either way, I'm just seeing it's like, you know if you take this person's offer, you know it's going to be another third party, and it's like, you don't want that. You don't want to be put in another third-party situation. Um, you don't want to deal with the pain, the tower moment, the hurt from having competition around somebody um, that you're interested in, that you love, okay? Um, and again, too, it's like, you know you can take this person's offer, but you know there's going to be a third-party situation that comes with it. There's going to be pain, another tower moment that comes with it, okay? There's going to be competition that comes, yeah, competition that comes with that cup. So like I said, it's like, it looks good on the outside, but like, you know what comes with it here. All this person has to offer you is dick, sex. And I was also seeing that in the Aries, Capricorn, Taurus reading. And it's like, these cards also came out together with that too. So it's like, like I said, it's like this person, all they have to offer you is sex. And it's like, you don't want that. You want more than that. Okay, so I see you're walking away from what you don't want to walk towards something better in your future here. You're pretending like this person doesn't exist. You're not interacting with this person. You're not talking, so they're stalking. That was also um, what I named the Aries reading, and that came up again in the Aquarius reading. I show these cards really good, so I love when they do this. So definitely go check out those readings. It's going to hold some messages for you guys. And it's like you're not talking to this person because yeah you're not talking to this person you cut things off because this person was juggling because they tried to put you in a third party situation so because they tried to put you in a third party you decided to move forward with the swiftness okay you decided to move forward because this person broke your heart here caused you pain this person was being deceptive doing things behind your back dealing with other people behind your back and it's like when this person comes back and tries to give you this offer here you know, when this person comes back and tries to give you this offer here, I'm just seeing it's like you know there's a caution that comes with it. Do more research before you proceed because this person's still a young energy. This person didn't learn their lesson yet. Um, and I just see it's like you're really done. You're tired with this situation. The situation is getting old for you. Okay, um, like I said, caution because you know this person's still immature. They didn't learn their lesson. They're still going to be in and out here. They're still just interested in sex here. And I just see it's like your legs are closed to this person, okay? You cr you crossed your legs. Your legs are not open for this person, okay? You're not having sex with this person. And I just see it's like, yeah, because you know they're still young here. And it's like when they come towards you, it's like you're really embodying this King of Swords energy. You're cutting off what you don't want to make room for what you do. 
Um, and it's like this person too is like I, I see them feeling like very sure of themselves when they come towards you and you're just like eh, nope and it's like I'm seeing you have like this sword I see you like kind of make this line in the sand and you're like I dare you to cross it that's the type of energy I'm picking up for you guys like I dare you to cross it because this person was being deceptive here this person was sneaky that's why your legs are closed you know they put you in a third party your legs are closed to this person this was also the card of the day from two days ago okay and the card of the day from yesterday I'm filming this on the second so the card of the day from yesterday was the nine of cups and that one tied in with the king of swords okay so definitely go check out those two posts um, it was also coming up strongly in the Aquarius reading too so definitely go check that out you'll be dealing with any of those signs I mentioned earlier uh, but definitely check out my Instagram because I nailed you guys really good with this one okay it's gonna give you some valuable information and to, um, I just talked about the energy shift, okay, Jupiter just left Sagittarius and went into Capricorn, so definitely go check that out to see how that's going to affect you guys, okay, but yeah, I'm just seeing here, like again, and I kind of explained it a little bit in the Aquarius one, but I just want to get to the point with all of this, I don't want to, you know, anyway, so, when this person comes towards you, it's like, I see them very sure of themselves, but it's like, your legs are closed here, and you mean it. Like I said, you're making that line in the sand, and you're daring them to cross it. You're like, come at me. I dare you. Watch what happens. You're going to cut this off. Um, because this person was being deceptive, doing things behind your back, thinking that they were getting away with something, think they were thinking they were getting one over on you, and you're closing your legs to this person because you know there's better in your future. You're just wanting to move forward because you are enjoying your time being single. And that was in the Nine of Cups card of the day. So definitely check that out. Um, really important messages for you guys. But again, it's like you're just wanting to move forward. Okay, because you know the universe has something better for you on the horizon. Okay, you know, um, yeah, go back here too. Hold on. Like I said, you're walking away from what you don't want to go towards what you do. You're walking away from deception because you know there's something better on your horizon. And you're just really enjoying being single right now, okay? You're enjoying being single, being stable in your own energy, okay? And I'm just saying it's like you're not wanting to get one back. You're not wanting to get unbalanced, okay? Like I said, you're enjoying your stability, um... And you don't want to deal with people that have one foot in and one foot out in these situations. Um, yeah, you're not wanting to deal with one, people who have one foot out and one foot in in these situations. People that don't give you that equal energy exchange. Okay, it's like you put too much into this situation. I just see it's like you're just wanting to put into yourself, make the investment into yourself so you can really flourish and grow. Like I said, you're really enjoying your time being single right now. I see you enjoying your solitude which was coming up really strongly in the Nine of Cups yesterday. Like I said, it's like you just want equal energy exchanges. You know what I mean? Um, and I just see, too, it's like this person that you were dealing with. Wow, that's crazy. So it's, yeah. This person does not reciprocate the same energy as you. For a lot of you guys, you could have found out that this person was being deceptive. Oh, yeah, being sneaky, deceptive, doing things behind your back. You could have went through their phone. I was also seeing that in the Virgo reading, so definitely go check that out. Um... Because I'm seeing it like the same way here. I'm seeing it the same way here. Yeah, so you definitely could have found out that this person was uh, being deceptive. They left evidence, okay? They thought they were getting away with something, but they left evidence on their phone that they were being deceptive dealing with other people. Definitely check out that Virgo reading. Yeah, and again, you found out they were being deceptive um, dealing with other people here through their phone. You find out they were dealing with other energies, okay, and it was very stressful to you, and you don't want to deal with that again. You don't want that to be a cycle. You're wanting to break this cycle, okay, and I'm seeing, yeah, it's like when this person tries to make you this offer, and this was also in the Aquarius reading, um, so when this person tries to make you this offer, like I said, it's like you know what comes with this cup. It looks good. It looks good, but you know this cup, this offer, comes with a third-party situation, Okay, um, and I just see it's like you're really looking at this. Yeah, wow. I feel like I need more arms. All right, so I, yeah, I just see it's like you're really looking at this here for what it is. Okay, you're making a fair and objective decision to cut this uh, energy off because you know this offer comes with a third party attached. Okay, 
And like I said, you're wanting to make this um, fair and just decision for yourself here because you don't want to keep dealing with that energy. You want to walk away from what you don't want to walk towards what you do, baby. That's really what I'm getting here. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, pretty straightforward. I like that energy. Yeah, pretty straightforward. I like that energy here. Um... Seeing too, and I was also seeing this in seeing this in the Aquarius reading too. So you could also be dealing with two energies coming towards you, okay? But it's like you know, yeah, it's the same thing. Caution, um, caution. Do more research before you proceed because you you're tired. You're old. You're not old, but you're tired. The situation is getting old. Dealing with these energies that hold the same frequency is getting old. Okay, you don't want to deal with people that are going to be in and out of your life, or that they're going to be cold and detached. Or they're going to give you third-party situations. You're not wanting to deal with that. You're done dealing with that. You're using the law of attraction here by cutting this off, by um, not entertaining this energy. You're using the law of attraction to tell, you, to tell the universe, like, hey, I don't want to deal with this energy anymore. Okay? Give me some new energy, basically. Yeah, because you're not, yeah, you're not going to be entertaining this. It's like, you're not going to be entertaining this energy anymore because you want something new, something stable. But right now, I just see it's like, you know, on the horizons, like, when you know that when you're supposed to find somebody, it's, it'll come to you in divine right timing. I just see you right now. It's like, you know, something better is uh, ahead of you in your future. And I just see, like I said, you're really just taking this time to really enjoy um, this chapter of your life, basically. You're really just taking the time to really enjoy being in your own energy here. basically what I'm seeing here and that was also in the nine of cups yesterday so definitely go check out my Instagram at cosmic tides underscore information is going to be down below so I'm seeing it like very strongly here for you guys you guys are really just trying to enjoy this chapter of your life right now you're trying to enjoy your stability being in your own energy being grounded you're giving to yourself here okay people are watching you uh, through social media too. stress about this And I'm seeing, like, people are wanting to... I'm seeing, too, it's like, I see somebody be also trying to offer you friendship here, okay? But this this person comes with... Um, and how I'm seeing this third party as I'm saying this, like, this person comes with um, gossip here. It's like, they're, they're giving you an act of friendship here, an offer of friendship, but this person talks about you um, behind your back here. I'm seeing, like, three people that... Yeah, so this person could be in a group, a friend group of, like, four or something. That's what I'm seeing here. It's like I see this person has a lot of friends behind them. And it's like they're wanting to add you to their friend group or something like that. But it's like you know that they don't like you here. That they um, are like jealous. That they are stressed out um, by watching you through social media. That's weird. Uh, maybe for like one or two people. But majority of you guys, like I said, it's like you know that this person... You know, it doesn't have good intentions for you, and neither does the people around uh, that person, is what I'm seeing here. Um, or you could be in a friend group where there's, like, four people here. But I'm just seeing it's, like, there's a main, like, one person here. Yeah, I'm just seeing it's, like, mainly there's one person here that's, like, I just really don't see them as trustworthy here. Because um, it's, like, they talk about you with the other two, is what I'm seeing like they act like they like you but it's like once you turn your back they're really jealous um and they only want what you can offer them what you have what you can give and that was also i think in the taurus reading so we might want to check that out um and like i said it's like you see all of this clearly and i see you and your higher self making this fair and objective decision to um cut off this energy too because you don't want to deal with it you want better for yourself you know there's better ahead of you and i see you breaking these cycles I see you getting that. I see good news is going to be coming in for you. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to leave that there. Some signs you could be dealing with. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, you could be dealing with Aries, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. Um, Libra or a Gemini there. Aries, Sagittarius. Aquarius, Gemini, K, 
Cancer, Cancer Scorpio, or someone who has Cancer and Scorpio in their chart. Um, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, okay, um, Libra. I'm just going to leave that there. I hope that was good for you guys. Definitely, like I said, go check out my Instagram at CosmicTides underscore. There's some important messages for you. And definitely go check out my post on the energy shift um, with Jupiter entering Capricorn today. Um, I filmed this on the 2nd, so today on the 2nd. Um, and let's see. Definitely go check out my Etsy store. Um, I don't know where you guys are, but in Jersey it is cold and it is snowing. So I have my blanket out here. I do have a heater, but it's just not doing justice. I had it out here too um, yesterday in my blanket. I feel like my readings came out like extra good because of the blanket. I don't know why. I'm superstitious like that. But yeah, anyway, so definitely go get your own. Uh, very comfy, cozy, great for this uh, winter season. And also, um, let's see, also check out my not so new single. Uh, wow. Check out my not so new single, Light My Fire, out now on SoundCloud. And I think that's all I say. So I'm just going to leave that there for you guys. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, and. And we're adding like two new blankets to the shop too um, and I'm really excited for these because uh, when they were made we were playing like throat chakra healing music so it's like infused with that healing energy and I like love it so I'm really excited to put those up I'll let you guys know when I do um, I'll update you guys on my Instagram and all right I'll just see you guys next week okay all right bye